This is security video from a break-in at Yonder Coffee in Northridge last week around 3.30 in the morning. This is security video from a break-in at Los Ruiz Senores in Silmar around 3.30 in the morning Tuesday. In both incidents, three people were involved. In both incidents, the bad guys left with little or no cash, but left behind lots of damage. Cash loss, it was about $120. Uh, mostly rolled coins, honestly, from singles and fives. Property damage, uh, well, a little over $1,000. Ernie Ruiz analyzed the security video and was astounded how quickly the crew worked. It looks like they had something in their hand. I'm assuming it was it was a rock, but they also picked something off from the ground. I'm assuming a random rock, and that's what they used, a brick. The crew was in and out in seconds, taking just a small safe. One of them stayed out here, kind of keep, kept on glancing down the street. I'm assuming for their getaway car. So they're in there only in there for like 30 seconds, 40 seconds at the max. Right now, LAPD has yet to officially connect the break in here in Silmar with the one in Northridge, but LAPD does believe the same crew is responsible for two other break ins near Yonder Coffee. Now, businesses try to reduce damage any way they can. Our service, along with all the other businesses, they leave the registers popped open, you could say, for these type of things. So at least they don't, don't break the registers, and that's even more of a headache. All right, just to give you a logistical lesson, we're here in Selmar. Northridge is about a 10-minute drive away, and detectives told Ernie that in addition to this break-in, he was aware of uh, a number of break-ins in the city of San Fernando. That, too, about a 10-minute drive away. Reporting live in Selmar, I'm Susan Harrisuna, Fox 11 News.